Hi, I'm Angie and yeah, today we are making uh, Mozartkugeln um, but I'm not entirely sure if everyone um, of you out there uh, know what Mozartkugeln are. Um, I grew up in Germany so it's a very very common thing there and everyone knows what it is. Um, so maybe just a quick um, explanation of what it is. So Mozartkugeln are um, a sweet confection uh, with pistachio marzipan in the middle and then a layer of nougat but not like uh, the white nougat um, with like the fruits and the nuts in it. Um, I'm talking about a chocolatey um, hazelnut nougat um, and the outer layer is an almond marzipan and then everything covered in chocolate. Um, so it is really, really yummy. Um, I hated it when I was a kid. I really hated everything marzipan and especially dark chocolate, but now I really love it. And Mozart Kugeln are actually called after Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Um, and I've been to Salzburg a couple of years ago and uh, really in every corner you can find Mozart Kugeln and buy them. Um, so there are a lot of different kinds and um, it's really awesome. So if you ever get a chance to visit Austria, to visit um, Salzburg, give it a try. It's a beautiful city with a lot of really good treats. So that was a little bit of the backstory of Mozart Kugeln. Um, and because I made some um, marzipan a couple of months ago, I'm really like craving it. And so I went online and found this awesome recipe um, at a blog called Yamsom. Um, yeah, created by Nicole. You should definitely check it out. I have a um, link in the description below with like lots of really good recipes. So check that out. Um, yeah, and so I really want to make her a recipe. Um, I'm not sticking to recipes really well. So I'll um, do some twists here and there. Um, but I'm sure it's going to be good. Okay, let's do this. So here we go. Um, we start out with our um, yeah, marzipan, I would say um, classic marzipan with almonds. Then we uh, move forward um, to our pistachio marzipan and then we make our nougat. And I will also add a little bit of um, agave nectar um, to get a little bit more sweetness and also to make it a little bit more sticky. And I think um, honey would be um, a good replacement for uh, the agave nectar, just in case you want to use that. Um, yeah, so yeah, we start with our almond marzipan. I'm just transferring everything over here into my bowl and add three tablespoons of my nectar and then I'm using half of a teaspoon of an almond extract so I will use my immersion blender and just see how far I will get with it. Um, yeah, and we want to mix it until uh, we get a really um, a nice doughy consistency, I think. So let's give it a try. Okay, so the immersion blender really didn't work out. Um, so I, um, yeah, mixing my Vitamix um, worked much better. I have a way finer result. Um, it's a little bit annoying because you have to scrape it down and then turn it again, but yeah, well, you know how it is. So now we will need our marzipan. Um, I have my silicon mat here. And now we're kneading for 30 seconds. I am a little bit worried that it will be hard later um, to work with it because it is pretty crumbly. Um, that's probably because the um, egg is missing. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it's not super duper crumbly, but it is. And if you've watched my uh, first video about marzipan, it was also pretty crumbly as well. And I think also the finer you get this, the better it will be later. Putting this back in here and that's pretty much what we're also going to do with our pistachio marzipan. I have 50 grams of almonds here, 100 grams of um, pistachios here and I will also add three tablespoons of my nectar, a little bit of salt and here in the corner I have some lemon zest. And yeah, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I will um, blend it first and then I will knead it for about 30 seconds. And yeah, 
that's what we're going to do. Here is our pistachio marzipan. Um, it smells so good. I like the lemon zest and pistachios. It is really, really, it smells really, really good. Um, yeah, so now I'm kneading this as well for like 30 seconds or so. And um, this one here doesn't seem to be as crumbly as the almond one. So I like that. And here we have our pistachio marzipan. Now we move on to our nougat. I have 150 grams of hazelnuts and 30 grams of cocoa nibs. So the original recipe asks for um, cocoa powder and um, cocoa butter. But well, I have nibs, I love nibs, so I use nibs. Um, let's just give it a try. A little bit of salt um, and five tablespoons of agave nectar. And everything else will just work the same. We will um, blend this as good as possible and um, we will knead it a little bit longer. So the recipe asks for two to three minutes of kneading, so that's what we're going to do. Here comes our nougat or hazelnut paste. Um, so we will knead this for a little bit longer, but it's way smoother um, than the other two. Yeah, so that's the fineness I could achieve. You still see particles in here. Um, yeah, that's just everything my patience um, allowed me to do today. I mean, it's not a lot of paste and not, not a lot of nut paste. And um, so yeah, my Vitamix is like, um, it gets stuck um, in the middle and you have to scrape it down all the time. So yeah, that's what I could achieve today. Um, yeah, so the original recipe, I think everything looks a little bit more smoother and finer. So if you get it finer, that's better. Now we are ready to um, assemble everything. So we start with our pistachio. Um, then we cover it with our nougat and then we cover everything into a ball and roll it into a ball with our marzipan. Okay. Okay, so this is really um, crumbly. But I think I can make it work. So I make a small pistachio ball and take a little bit of the nougat then I'm setting it then I'm setting pistachio onto the nougat and cover pistachio with the nougat And then we cover everything with our almond marzipan. I'm not sure if that's going to work um, because it's really, really crumbly, but well, let's give it a try. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, those are really, really <laughs> huge. Um, but yeah, I think we can make it work that way. Um, I'll try to use a little bit less because otherwise um, they're humongous. Um, but yeah, so now we have the three layers. And I'll just keep doing that. If 
but I have to say it is a little bit annoying that everything is so crumbly. Try to grind your nuts as fine as you can because that's the whole issue here, I think. Okay, I think um, I'm just too annoyed with that. I think I will just... Mm, I don't know. You know what, this is not going to work um, because this will make me uh, mad and angry. Um, I will just mix and match however I want. But if you um, get the right consistency, you use the pistachio marzipan in the middle and then cover it with your nougat and then move forward to your almond marzipan. But um, yeah, this will drive me nuts. Um, if I keep doing this, um, I think it's not going to work the way I want it. Um, it's just too crumbly, but um, yeah, I will not just give up. I think I will just do a weird mix of everything um, I'm pretty sure it tastes awesome anyways. So I'll just take a little bit of everything and throw it in together and then form a ball. That's what I'm going to do. And um, we'll also make a little bit of uh, smaller pieces because this will drive me nuts if I have to do this um, the next half an hour or so. And that way, of course, you don't get these um, awesome, um, yeah, Mozart Kugel layers. Um, but it has to be good enough. And of course, that's not all we are going to do with chocolate today. Of course, we will also um, cover them in chocolate. And yeah, I will just yeah roll them uh, in chocolate with my hands. I think that this will be the e easiest because they are just a little bit crumbly. And yeah, that's the last and next step. So here's my chocolate um, and as you can see I uh, reuse my chocolate from last project so uh, from my volcano project and yeah I'll just um, reuse my chocolate over and over again and um, yeah just drop it in a box um, once it's cooled down and then I reuse it. So we're going to use 400 grams of chocolate I will uh, melt it, temper it and then yeah we can roll our truffles. My chocolate is tempered and I'm using a 78% dark chocolate today. And yeah, so all I'm going to do is roll them into my chocolate, let it set, and um, then we should be good. Let's, how do I do that now? Let's do it like this. And I think I will give them two coats, just to make sure that they're evenly uh, covered in chocolate. And um, well, more chocolate is always better. So I'll give them two coats. And of course you can always use some gloves, but I don't care. Okay, they will not be super pretty. That was the first code. Now I'm going over to the second code. All right, just wash my hands. Um, and now I let those set for like five to 10 minutes here at room temperature. And then I put them into my fridge for maybe like another 10 minutes or so. And I think then they should be ready to go. Here's um, today's mess, <laughs> but I can't wait to try those. So they have been in the refrigerator for maybe like 20 minutes or so, not longer. And, and that's the big one, like the first one I made. Um, focus. <laughs> um, yeah, where I actually should see the layers. So we cut this one up. You can see the different layers, right? You can see the pistachio and the nougat and the marzipan. I'm pretty sure you can see it. Ah, oh, that's really cool. Okay, can't wait to try it. This is freaking awesome. This is really yummy. I know it doesn't look great, but this tastes awesome. I love this. It is not super sweet. It's way better than I've expected, to be honest. Um, it is a little bit, I don't want to say tough, but maybe they're a little bit tougher than original Mozart Kuchen, but 100% that comes because I couldn't grind them up as, as fine as I should. Give this a try. This is awesome.
thanks for watching my video as always i hope you liked it um hit the subscribe button follow me on instagram at chocolate spiel and um yeah if you have questions just leave them in the comments below bye